Maybe you found yourself here from one of my other scripting videos, or maybe you're just sick and tired of copying and pasting code, but I've got a very quick tip for you today when working with contact scripting that will save you time, speed up your workflow, and make it much easier to work with third-party editors. Let's check it out. Hey, my name is Steve and welcome back to Command Shift New. When you start to get a little bit more advanced with contact scripting or the KSP language, you start to look for a script editor with a bit more features that goes beyond the standard one that's built into contact. Mainly because that like NI contact editor is like this big, it's tiny, and it doesn't have any kind of tools to help you when you're actually scripting stuff. A popular one that I actually use is Sublime's text editor with uh, Niels's KSP extension added on as well, the plugin. But there are other options as well. There's the VS Code, for example, that can also have a contact extension plugged into it. Both of these work really, really well, and I've included some links below so that you can check those out if you like. But today I wanna to focus on people who have been using these for a while and maybe have run into one massive bummer about it, copying and pasting text all the time between that program and contact. However, there is a really easy way to actually link these two together so that you just have to save your file, hit apply and contact, and voila, your code is working. There are two steps to make this work, so let's check those out now. And a really quick shout out to Owen Bollock, who has his own channel, which I've left a, a link to down below, who's the one who actually showed me this trick in the first place. So thanks, Owen, and let's check this out. So on here at the moment, I have a very simple script that is running in Sublime Text, or well, it's not really running, it's just there in Sublime Text. And if I wanted to make it run, I would have to copy it. So highlight, copy, and I'd have to move across to my contact instance and drop it into the editor in there. Hit apply, and then I would actually see the changes. This can be a real bummer, of course, because then if you want to come over here and change it to, I don't know, 100 pixels across, then you've got to repeat the process. You've got to highlight everything, copy everything, come back across the contact, got to go in and you've got to like highlight everything, remove it, hit apply, and you know, then uh, paste everything in. Ugh, there we go. Now we've moved it across. It honestly just takes way too much time. There's copying and pasting and moving across and clearing things out. It's just, it's all just very cumbersome. But you can embed it in what's known as contacts resource container. Now I have a video that's part of a series on how to create your own contact graphics that you can use, and they use this resource container as well. So I'll leave some links above and below for you for that one. But essentially the resource container is a resource file that contact looks at for different resources, like graphics and like strips. Very simple to create this. We go into our spanner, jump into instrument options, and down here under the instrument section, we've got resource container. Nothing is set at the moment, so I'm going to create one. In this simple test folder here, I'm just going to call it resources. Nothing too fancy, obviously. Just hit save. And the thing it's going to do is it's going to be like, there's no resource folder. Would you like me to create one? And you want to hit yes. So it will create a series of folders that act as a directory. This message that comes up says there's absolutely nothing in that directory, which of course there isn't. We've just only created it. So hit OK on that one. We're all good. Now we have a resource container linked. Now what you want to do is come over to your script and you want to save that into the resource folder. So if I go into my test folder again, and here is my resource container. If I jump into the resources folder, this is the directory that it's created. Then what I do is I click on scripts and I'm going to save it as a script here in that folder. Let's just call it test. And it's really important that it is a TXT file or a basic text file. It can't be saved as Sublime Text KSP format. It needs to be TXT. So we'll hit save there and we'll go, yep, absolutely. We want to use that TXT. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying is that Sublime Text then picks it up and goes, oh, this is a plain text file. So you just need to come back down to the bottom right corner and change it back over to a KSP format. And you'll only need to do that once. Now, the other side of this is inside contact. We want to remove this script file. We don't need that anymore. I'm just going to hit apply to clear it out. And then up here where it says apply from, I'm going to choose resources folder and the test script. So the script that we're actually editing. Hit that, hit apply, and there it is. Now, when we make a change, it should be reflected. If I come over here and let's make this 300, so it's nice and obvious. If I just hit Command S to save, I've now saved the file, and then come over to contact, hit apply, there it is. It's already moved and it's updated the text, it's updated the images, everything's working really well. This will save you so much time because the action of kind of like highlighting the whole thing, copying it, highlighting everything in there, pasting it, making sure nothing goes wrong, you don't accidentally highlight only a small chunk of it and suddenly half your code is missing, it's just, 
it's very easy to stuff that process up when you're copying and pasting all the time. So by doing it this way, saving it in the resource file, and then just kind of applying from there, saves so much time. Now, of course, when you're ready to compile the file and copy it in you know, permanently, once the, the development is done and you're kind of getting the instrument ready for release or whatever, then of course you can take that script file out, you can clear out the script preferences, compile the script and copy it across, no problems. It just needs to be in there while you're working on developing the script and it will just speed up the workflow so much. So there it is, a very quick tip that will hopefully save your Command C, Command V controls on your keyboard and also a little bit of time along the way. If you wanna learn more about contact coding and scripting inside contact to make your own interfaces and your own options and that sort of stuff, then this is a great channel for you because we share a lot about that. There's a full course that will get you started on making instruments for contact and a bunch of other videos that look into lots of different areas of scripting. So why not subscribe and knock yourself out with those ones, but otherwise I will catch you in the next one.